This Friday night, we meet a man who is making a difference, specifically using his talents, the ability to create music to help kids for whom a song, just the gift of music, can make a huge difference because they're in a tough spot. The story tonight from NBC's Rahema Ellis. For songwriter John Belzer, music is his passion. And while his songs have never topped the music charts, Every song you write for a child is a guaranteed hit. Especially when it's a personalized song for a child battling a life-threatening illness, like Lindsay, a diabetic, or Megan and Ashley, both diagnosed with leukemia. Who drives the car? Belzer began writing songs for kids 10 years ago as a tribute to his twin brother, Julio, who committed suicide. He worked with hospitals to identify sick children. The lyrics are based on information from profile sheets filled out by parents and kids. All their favorite things, from friends, hobbies, even pets, are set to music. We don't uh, address the illness in the songs. We address who they are as beautiful people. It's nice to you say. Yeah. Belzer and a few you friends say. were writing the songs and tirelessly seeking donations to get them produced through his nonprofit foundation called Songs of Love. They composed 30 songs in a year. Today, with an army of volunteers nationwide, the foundation produces 250 songs a month, and now a milestone, 10,000 songs. His 10,000th song, written for Saeed Boynes, who has sickle cell anemia. It was, it was amazing. I, I really liked it. It captured my song. I feel really proud of that I was able to, in my own way, contribute to, this, to the goodwill of this world. Who's that? One songwriter in tune with sick children and writing their songs. I want to hear it again. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, New York. That's our broadcast. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We'll see you back here on Monday. Have a good weekend. Good night.